Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 8, and it reads, The mighty Lord sendeth the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? A fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? He shall cast lightnings, and who shall not fear? He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? The Lord shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence? First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, next double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere occupants. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep their faith. Regardless of people here, for a bear. Another lesson on just fearing the Lord. He's 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 he said the Lord shall threaten who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence. Jeremiah said the nation shall not Jeremiah the tenth chapter verse ten and I'm, I'm about to go let me go there right quick. The pro, the prophets are telling you that look look knowing therefore the terror of the Lord we persuade me are you not hearing what the prophets are saying? Said the mighty Lord said of the plagues. Oh, who is who is he that can turn them away? Nobody said the Lord shall threaten. <laughs> said the Lord gonna beat them to powder, man. Jeremiah, this is a loving guy, it's a kind guy. He's a, he's all love, which he is full of love and tender mercy, but he's also full of wrath. He's also full of wrath, Israel. Jeremiah chapter ten, verse ten, like like throughout the night. It's a whole lot of people that didn't make it throughout the night. The Lord created them spirits for vengeance. They, they did debt with them. You see? The Lord dealt with a whole lot of you hard-headed ninjas last night. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. A whole lot of y'all got debt with last night. The Lord created them spirits, man, to get at you. And a whole lot of y'all did. The upper room. The upper room. A whole lot of y'all went to the upper room last night, man. Early this morning. Why cause the fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living part? It, it truly is. This ain't no joke. And every day that goes by, you know what I'm saying? We're starting to understand it more and more. It gets more and more clearer. How, how much we should fear Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Let's get this. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 10. But the Lord Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, not Buddha, not Allah, not Santa Maria, not the Hindu God of Shiva, not um. Jesus, not none of that nonsense, man. You see now, oh yeah, not um, Amen Ra. This is this is a bug. You this is a bugged out man. Walk around, you know what I'm saying, thinking you Egyptians, thinking you Mormons, and, and all and all this other Baptist. I'm a Baptist. I'm a Baptist. I'm a Pentecostal madness, man. But the Lord Yahweh Baha Shem is the true power. You see. He is the living power. All those other gods are idols. They're dead. They don't live. They don't talk. They don't see. They can't help you out. They can't come save you. They can't come put food on your table. But guess what? That's who you worship, though. That, that's who you worship, though, right? An idol. You see? It says, it says the Lord is an everlasting king. At his wrath, his wrath is real. At his wrath. Did, did, didn't Ezra just say something about his wrath? At his wrath, the earth shall tremble, and the nation shall not, because the earth is a spirit too. At his wrath, the earth and everything in it shall tremble, and the nation shall not be able to abide his indignation. The word abide means to stand. Indignation means righteous anger. You ain't going to be able to stand up. You, what you, gonna, you think you're going to be able to stick your chest out? <laughs> You need you need just bugged out. You think you gonna oh I'll push up. I, I I go to the gym every day. You think you gonna you gonna so you gonna stick your six pack out? You gonna you gonna hold up your um, your guns? You know what I'm saying your um, um your arm I mean arms. Your G U N S sleazy E. You just as simple as hell. You just emotional. I mentioned something about Hurricane um Milton. You know what I'm saying uh, uh misinformation misinformation. But showing a video over them, hurricane ripping up a town. So what do you mean tell me? What do you mean tell me? That video was fake. Hurricane Milton was fake or something? It really didn't happen? 
Man, the Lord said if the plagues are who is he, they can drive them away. Taking down a video ain't going to stop this place from being destroyed. Second Edges chapter 16. Let's go right back. Second Edges chapter 16. Verse 8 again, the mighty Lord Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, sent at the plagues, the storms, the floods. And who was he that could drive them away? And I want to get another precept right quick. Er early in the morning, about to head out, get this daily bread, Lord's will. And Lord willing, the hopeful elect is edified and fear. You see? This is Isaiah chapter 29. Let's get it because the Lord said he, he sent it to plagues. Let's just prove it. Isaiah chapter 29. Uh, right? Isaiah chapter 29, verse 6. Let's just get this right quick. Isaiah 29 and 6, and it reads, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Because remember, Exodus 15 and 3, the Lord is a man of war. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder, cupcakes, thunder, snicker bars, thunder, juju beans, thunder, music, um, uh, what is it? movie tickets, thunder, roses, thunder, violets, thunder, lilies, Thunder and with earthquakes and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of the fire. This is how the Lord gets down. The Lord said, this, you, you, want, you want me to say hey to you? You, you want me to come see you? You got these people. So I can't wait for to see the Lord. Well, here, here you go. You, you see him. You see him right here. When you see them thunderstorms, when you see them earthquakes, when you see them, um, them big storms, them major storms, and, and them fires. There you go. You you seen him. Lord said that's how I'm vi so the Lord visiting the earth each and every day. You see? With with these sore judgments, man. And it ends with it. And, look, look, and once again, who is he that can drive them away? Right? So let's go right back. Just quick, quick little hit. Second Edges chapter 16. Verse 8 again. The mighty Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Sin of the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? A fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? Ain't enough fire trucks to put the the fire that's coming. It ain't no, it ain't enough fire trucks, right? It ain't enough lakes to put out the fire that's coming. It says, um, he shall cast lightning, and who shall not fear? He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? I know every time it thunders, I, I haul that. I I, I shut the TV off. You see, if I'm outside, I go in the house. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't playing around. If I'm at work, I go inside the building and sit down somewhere. I'm not playing around. And who should not be afraid? You got people always telling the Lord. You got people to be outside. You know what I'm saying? Playing around with the thunder. You see? Thinking they can hide up on a tree during the thunder. That's, they know. That's the worst place to hide. You know what I'm saying? During a thunderstorm is up on a tree. These people ain't so smart after all. It says, uh, the Lord shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to power as his presence? But his devil said, you can make the Lord mad. You can make the Lord mad. You can piss him off, no say, because they can create water, no say, and they can create food. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The Lord said, he going to threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to power, man? Hey, ain't nobody, I don't want to get this too. Because that devil really said that, though, man. Matter of fact, let's, let's get this. That devil said that, man. I forgot his name. If somebody know who it is, they, um, one of the brothers, y'all know who it is, put it in the comment board. That devil that said, you know what I'm saying? Um, and put his quote too. So, so you can make the Lord mad, you know what I'm saying? Because he can create water and he can create food. You can just piss him off. It's, well, last time I read, according to the Bible, Hebrews, the 10th chapter, verse 31, it says it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 8. There is no man that have power over the spirit to retain the spirit so though you may be able to create some food and though you may be able to create some water you can't retain the spirit you can't stop yourself from being deleted that's one thing sleazy can't stop he um, eight nine heart transplants st still bit the damn dust you see the damn new heart you know what I'm saying? Say, achy breaky heart and still bit the damn dust you see because why there is no man that have power over the spirit to retain the spirit except for Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh remember Deuteronomy 32 39 oh, I'm going there next I'm, I'm going there next neither have he power in the day of death you can't stop yourself from being deleted and there is no discharge in that war, neither shall wickedness deliver those that are given to it. You think your wickedness is going to deliver you from the evils, from, from being deleted? You look, look, somebody that told you wrong, somebody that you're doing wrong, somebody that told you wrong. And I'm having some fun. It's early in the morning and I'm having some fun getting this lesson in. And Lord willing, it's, it's, a, it's hopeful, um, it's edifying to the hopeful elect. And I'm, I'm excited.
Wake up this morning on a Saturday morning excited about getting the word in. Do the right in, getting the word in, getting it out. You know what I'm saying? Do the right in, chapter 32. Let's get this. Do the right in, 32, 39. See now that I, even I, and in that, in that scripture that I just read, though, that Ecclesiastes 8 and 8, more reasons on why we should fear the Lord. The Lord said, No man has power of the Spirit. You see? Yeah, yeah, you witches and you warlocks out there, you can't stop yourself and go, oh, oh I know when I'm about to go. I, I, I know I know the day, you know what I'm saying? And I, that's nonsense right there, man. No one can tell you when you're going to go because no one knows, man. Only the Lord knows, man. Deuteronomy 32, 39. Once again, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Deuteronomy 32, 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. You see that again? There's no God with me. No Buddha, no Allah, no Santa Maria, no Hindu, Hindu God of Shiva. None of that nonsense, man. No Amin Ra, no, no Seth, no Geb, no Neb. I kill and make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any, 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 any that could deliver out of my hand. Bear with me. I mean, the majority of the Israelites, they, they, you, you, you're going to ignore a scripture like this. <laughs> you, you're truly going to ignore a scripture like this. When the Lord said, look, I'm the one that's keeping you alive. I, I you, you know, you know, I'm the one that, that, that uh, wounded you. You see I'm, I, I wounded you. You know, you know, I'm the one, that, the only one, and the, truly the only one that can heal you. You, you. you didn't know that, right? You're going to the DR. It, it's, it's through me that you're healed. And, and I take your ass out, too. You, you, you don't understand that, though, right? It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Let's, let's get something else right quick. I'm just, I'm just flowing, about to, about, to, about to head out, man. Get this daily bread. Let's just get this, throw this in here. Look, look, the beginning of sorrows, the beginning of evil. We're here now. We're here now. Look, look, ain't no turning back. You see? Ain't no turning back the hands of time. We're here now. The beginning of evils, the beginning of sorrows, the beginning of famine, the beginning of wars, the, the beginning of every damn thing, the beginning of straight, straight anarchy. It doesn't matter who you vote for. It doesn't matter who wins. It doesn't matter who loses. All hell gonna break loose regardless, man. Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13, that whosoever will not seek the Lord power of Israel shall be put to death. Straight up being deleted. The Lord gonna straight up delete you, man. Whether small or great, whether you're somebody, whether you're nobody. You see? Whether man or woman. It doesn't matter. If you're not seeking your how will Baha Shemiah, the Lord's telling you what your end all gonna be. He's telling you, man. You see? Walk around with your damn um, little pins on your shirt. So I voted. I voted. Who you vote for? Who you vote for? It doesn't matter, man. Neither is there any that can deliver out of the hands of the Lord. And I want to go right back there. Oh, matter of fact, let's go. Let's get this last one because I, I got to get rid of. I got the roll. Remember, Second Edges, the fourth team chapter. You know what I'm saying verse um. 16, 17, for yet greater evils. Second Edges 15, 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Tell them what's going to happen before it even happen, which I will put in their mouth, saith the Lord. And call them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imagination against thee. Let not the incredulity, meaning unbelief of them, trouble thee that speak against thee. For all, look, look, let not the incredulity, the unbelief, they don't believe. Don't let that worry you. Don't let that trouble you. They speak against thee. For all the unfaithful. You, 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 it's like, are you hearing this? You, you non-believers, are you hearing this? Are you scoffers? Are you mockers? Are you hearing this? For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, save the Lord. I will bring plagues upon the world. Is this happening now? It's not, it has started already. The sword, which represents destruction. Are, are we not seeing destruction throughout the four corners? Are you not watching? The, the sword, famine, that, that famine, gonna be, that, that body going to start eating itself from the inside out. So it's going so to pine away. It's going to start rotting, man. Start eating yourself, man. Your body will start eating itself. Famine, death, and destruction for wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And the hurtful works are fulfilled. So that's pretty much all I got for right now. I got to head out, get this daily bread. Lord's will, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Shalom.